So has anyone noticed the amount of curse words in animated movies has gone up significantly in the past five years? I just don't want to mess it up. Maybe get off the kid's ass. I'm sorry, what? 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 I, I don't know. For the longest time, it seemed that animated movies could not use profanity because some of their audiences were, well, you know, children. However, in the last couple of years, it seems that studios are getting more loose with their terminology. They're starting not to care anymore. I'm not kidding. In this video, you're gonna see how close they get to cursing. And if you actually stick through till the end of the video, I will show you an actual curse word in an animated movie that you've seen that you just don't remember. Yes, there is a company out there, there is a movie out there that's loved by everyone that literally has an actual curse word. Stay tuned to see that at the end of the video. But without further ado, let's go on to the first entry on the list. She take over when she's ready. And speaking of ready, we are more than ready for you to actually buy something if you'd ever get up off your lazy ash. <laughs> Elementals 2023. Pixar is doing substitute bad words now? I thought this movie was for kids. If you thought this movie was for kids, well, Pixar wants to have a word with you, my friend. Not gonna lie, this did catch me off guard because when you're looking at a Pixar movie, you don't expect to see curse words or even substitute curse words. That's how censored these movies are. But like I said, in the past six, seven years, we've almost been seeing a shift in animation. The scripts are getting more wild and that doesn't just affect DreamWorks. It doesn't just affect Illumination. It affects Disney as well, Pixar. I mean, could you imagine back in the day, Lotso busting out some cuss words, hell, shut the hell up, F you, this and that, get off your, your lazy ash. <laughs> that would have been hilarious, but we all know back in the day, it seemed like there was this rule that you couldn't even touch a bad word. You couldn't even get near a bad word in these films, which is so insane because animation was not made for kids in the beginning. We'll get into that later, but let's move on to the next entry on the list. Thank you. Hey, let me out. You lying, slimy son of a- mm -mm -mm. You're welcome. Bet you didn't expect to see Moana on here, huh? Yeah, you thought that the princess movies were exempt. You thought that they had armor. You thought that these movies would never imply anything, but this was really funny. We see Moana, the princess. Well, she doesn't like being called a princess, but you know, Moana apparently was about to cuss on Disney. Now, I don't think that this deserves backlash. I do think that this is appropriate. Here is why. Moana is a girl who lives on an island. They have the freedom to do whatever they want. If any princess should be cussing, it should be Moana. We gotta give her a pass, guys. But this has been very spicy. We've seen how Pixar handles curse words. We've seen how Disney handle curse words. But let's see how another company handles it. Let's go on to DreamWorks. This is stupid. All I smell is bullshit. I present to you Puss in Boots The Last Wish. Wow, this movie is based. This movie is littered with curse words and it's so funny. And I'm not just talking about Perrito. I'm talking about other characters. Everyone in this movie just has no filter. I love it. It's like they made this movie for people that are not five years old. Knuckle dragging, honey scrounging, grub oafish munching, mangy nugget. I don't know what it is, but I think there's something in the air affecting animals, especially dogs. Dogs in animated movies are cursing a lot, and I'm not joking. I kid you not. This is not the only movie with a dog cursing. Take a look at this. I swear I will bite your head up. Hello, small rodent. Small who? This is a movie called Next Gen, available on Netflix. And I'm super excited to talk about this movie for a couple of reasons. Number one, it was created in Blender. Number two, there are curse words in this movie. Yeah, another movie that is not afraid to show profanity. They're even blurring out the dog's mouth. I mean, this is, you can't get more obvious than this. And this literally proves my point. In the last five to seven years, something has happened. We'll get into that soon. And I was like, and I was like, hey, you want a piece of this and the flame, scrap metal. You don't f with Momo, son. Jeez, with the way these animals are cursing, it makes me scared for the future. It makes me scared that the beatboxing puppy's gonna curse. I'm the beatboxing puppy. I know you think it's funny. All the people know they love me. I need some food in my tummy. 
Do you want to watch a movie that I created in Blender for free? Go ahead and check out our drawings. It has a beatboxing puppy in it. Anyways, back to the video. I'm so glad that the movie Next Gen wasn't afraid to break the boundary. And honestly, I had to put this on this list because I've been feeling a little bit bad just talking about Disney and DreamWorks only. Guys, there's other movies out there. Everyone deserves a chance. We can't just keep talking about what's popular, okay? There are other movies out there with so much in them. Let's move on. What the hell? We did it. It's working. We actually did it. Now, don't get mad at me, but the curse word in this is allegedly hell. Yes, the word hell actually got a lot of parents mad. Oh, brother, what kind of world are we living in? Do you guys realize that hell is not necessarily even a curse word? You may think I'm over-exaggerating, but no, there are articles that are saying that this is unacceptable. See, I'm not the only one who's noticed that something is happening. Now, I'm not complaining. You know, maybe other people are complaining about these curse words in animated movies, but I'm not complaining. I'm just noticing, and no one's talking about it. So I decided to talk about it. I just like to talk about things that people are not talking about. I mean, what is it with the word hell that just makes people so uncomfortable? Now look, I get it. I don't wanna go there. I do not wanna go there. The Ninja Turtles, they use that word just to make the film tense. The Ninja Turtles wanted to add this word to the film to make the moment more tense. They didn't wanna use some silly word like heck. Seriously, could you imagine if he used the word hack instead of hell? That would have killed all the tension. So I think people need to relax. They're not using these curse words just to shock you 24 seven. Sometimes they use strong language to make the scene a little bit more tense. But you know what shocks me the most is that Christian movies are not allowed to even say the word hell. The punishment should be banishment to the island of perpetual tickling. Um, I think he means hell. If any movie should be allowed to say the word hell without backlash, I think VeggieTale works because first of all, this is a Christian movie. It's a Christian company, man. Come on. The island where you are tickled day and night? First of all, it's Christian. Second of all, hell is a place, guys. Let them say the word. Oh my goodness. Yes, guys, they had to substitute the word hell for something completely different. A place where you're tickled day and night. This, you can't make this up. Hell is not a bad word. What the, 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 the hell is wrong with you? Hell is a place you don't want to go. It's a bad place, but I don't know if we can say that it's a bad word. I think people get the two confused. <laughs> I am happy that animated movies are now able to freely express themselves a little bit more. I feel like the writers in the past couple of years have gotten tired of the restrictions they've seen how bad the world is and they decided that if they want to add some curse words in there whether it be a substitute an implication or a straight-up curse word they can do it now remember how earlier in the video I said that there's an entry on this list that literally has a curse word in it you've probably seen this movie before you just don't remember it and it actually transcends the premise of my video because we've been talking about movies in the past seven years, five years, eight years, but this movie goes way back. There was a company that was not afraid to put a curse word in their movie. Do you know what movie it is? Let's take a look at it together. Wait, where are you going? The exit's over there. Well, I have to save my ass. What kind of night are you? And what kind of people are we to let such a movie like Shrek die? What kind of people are we to forget this masterpiece of a movie? What kind of people are we that movies were so afraid to curse back in the day, but DreamWorks? Nah, DreamWorks, they don't care. I told you guys in my last video that DreamWorks is able to transcend any restrictions. They are not in a box. The script is not in a box. They don't care. They don't care, and I love it. They don't care. They're based. They're based. 